pipe drum, and pipe pipes and drums. Gentlemen, detail! Protect! As they have another function to go to, they will be departing. I welcome you all. The first time in 21 years, it's raining. We need the rain. So we're thankful to the good Lord for that. I will ask the American Legion and VFW to lead us in the place of the Legion. Breathe it Oh! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order! Oh! I ask that we have a moment of silence in your hearts, remember those who have passed 9 11, and all of those who are still passing away because of 9 11. Thank you. Sophia will lead us in our national anthem. We do not have a microphone today because apparently it does not like to work in the rain. So we're, gonna have, we're just going to have it up here. And Sophia has a nice clear voice, so she will lead us in the national anthem. Sophia? Detail! Present! Art!
have Deacon Mark from St. Mary's of Walks of Rama lead us in an invocation. Well, brothers and sisters, as we solemnly remember the events of September 11, 2001, let us recall the words of Pope Benedict XVI when he visited Ground Zero in 2008. God of understanding, overwhelmed by the magnitude of this tragedy, we seek your light and guidance as we confront this terrible event. Grant that those whose lives were spared may live, that the lives lost here may not have been lost in vain. Comfort and console us, strengthen us in hope, and give us the wisdom and courage to work tirelessly for a world where true peace takes peace and love reign among nations and in the hearts of all. Amen. At this time, we traditionally have the lowering of the flag, the half staff, as has been ordered by President Biden in honor of the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. They are already at half staff, so we will not lower the flag. I will do a few brief remarks for my reflection. You know, as far as anniversaries go, 21 gets no respect. It's not the 20th or the 25th. You know, those are the more popular ones. It's really totally a non-noteworthy anniversary. But what makes it special is the fact that we are here. We make it important anniversary. Why do we do that? Because we gather to remember our day of infamy. This is our Pearl Harbor. Why? Because we want to remember what 9-11 taught us. September 11, 2001 taught us to be always prepared, always cherish our good ideals, believe in our American ideals, be the community that supports one another. To hold these truths to be self-evident, that we are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. To support our country, right or wrong, when right to be kept right, when wrong to be made right. This is why we are here, to remember and pledge that we'll always be prepared, hold on to our American ideals, be a community, and that the American government of the people by the people and for the people shall not perish from this earth. We will now have the placing of the baskets. Is there a member of the Dinkoff family here? Did not see them? Yes. Can you make a space for Mrs. Dinkoff? Mayor and Council, Fire department.
Police Department. EMS, RW, Barnabas Health, and the OEM. For the benediction in the closing, Sophia will leave us, and God bless America. We who gather here this day remember with love and compassion all of our brothers and sisters lost on September 11, 2001. May we grieve with those who still mourn and share memories with those who cannot forget. May we draw strength from those who bravely responded and gave their lives to save others. May we stand with strangers who became neighbors that day and remember their generosity and hospitality. Above all, Almighty God, may we remember your faithfulness and we'll learn to trust in your unfailing love. Amen. This concludes our ceremony. Until next year, move on to your ideal, be a community, and we'll meet again next year. Thank you all for coming.